Discover and learn the difficult A to Z terminologies of fashion, only here on Fashion Dictionary. Flat front pants, straight pants, often seamless and pocketless. Here on Fashion Dictionary. Witam serdecznie na prezentacji mojej nowej kolekcji Evival Arte Niech Żyje Sztuka. Evival Arte to hołd dla Sycylii, ale tak naprawdę dla jej architektury i mieszkańców, dla tej tradycji. Duża ilość torebek, zarówno małych, średnich, dużych. Także dla każdej, każda kobieta tutaj znajdzie coś dla siebie. Myślę, że torebki Sabriny są wyjątkowe, ponieważ są wyjątkowo wykonane, a to jest podstawą każdej dobrej torebki. Wykonanie i świetnej jakości materiały. Są bardzo mocne, wyraźne linie. Jest bardzo ciekawy romans kaletnictwa z krawiectwem, ponieważ użyłam pierwszy raz fiszbin od gorsetu. Mają poszerzenia, mają także wymienne boczki. No coś, co mam nadzieję i mnie zaskoczyło i Was. Ja tutaj wybrałam na dzisiejszy dzień korleone. Taka fajnie mijąca się torebka, dużo różnych kolorów, więc jak najbardziej do każdego ubrania będzie pasowało. Wyróżnia i dla mnie jest niesamowite w jej wszystkich kolekcjach, to jest naprawdę ogromna, szeroka kolorystyka. Także do wszystkiego, do każdej pory dnia, nocy, do każdej stylizacji w Sabrinę można wszystko znaleźć. Ja się bardzo cieszę, że Sabrina zaprosiła mnie tutaj do współpracy. Miałyśmy e, okazję razem właśnie pracować tutaj przy sesji do torebek i, i fajnie, że można się tak fajnie odważnie e, podpisać tutaj pod tymi torebkami. Moja ulubiona torebka to zdecydowanie model Message Bag. To torebka, której na froncie rysuje się e, koperta, ta wirtualna. Ta, którą oglądamy codziennie na ekranach naszych smartfonów. Widziana, graficznie mówi, masz wiadomość. I to jest właśnie ta torebka z przekazem. I dlatego nazywam ją Message Bag. I was um, I'm, I'm brought up in a very small fishing village on the west coast of Denmark, and um, where we actually had no fashion store at all. And one day I was coming to town, and we lived a little bit even outside. That it's something that you can't really call a town. There was coming this small fashion store with jeans from Italy, 
And it blew my mind. And I thought, wow, that is, that is what I want to do. I had no chances to learn about it or to, that I knew that, you know, I feel that I thought that could be a career for me. And, um, and even with even more luck, I, was, I met one guy that said, you know, can you work for me? And we st I don't even know why. And uh, we started off by going to Calcutta in India, of all places. And that sounds like something you could do today, but believe me, in the 70s, that was not something you did. Nobody, nobody did, actually. And uh, until t today, actually, I think Indian has been the, been the most influenced, you know, fashion place for me ever. I mean, it, 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 it started then. It kind of still is. I mean, ethnics is, of course, all, all, all over the world. It can come from any place, but, but very inspired from it and lasted basically a lifetime. I, I took in, you know, the opportunity, I think, f in my life to, to change it a little bit because the type of fashion industry I was working with was more like a copying a little bit from here there. You go to Paris, you go to London, you change it a little bit and you, you made it in India and then you produced it, you sold it in huge amounts of uh, quantities. And I thought, you know, I respect the industry too much for this. I really like it and I think we disregarded design at the moment. And going back into the mid-90s, that was really done. Design was something Danish was looking at, like, it will only destroy the collections. Let's just, you know, copy it and do it. So we thought looking into the market and looking at something that was not there, which was very new. And we came up with this idea, is that we thought this, the contrast between the East and West and all that stuff could be something we could pick on. And, uh, but we wanted to make it something daily because people that was doing something similar to that at the moment was very evening type of stuff. And we didn't want to go in that direction. We thought you could bring the evening into daytime, the daytime into evening, you know, that you didn't have to go back, be busy people. You can't go to your job, go back to your house and wash up and go back and then you go to a coffee store. You know, you kind of flow with it. Also because we made it a very urban concept. And um, so we was talking about this daily, but it didn't work well. So we came up with, I mean, let's call it day, but then we will add something like it should be Anderson or Son or something, you know, with that type of feeling. Uh, and I had a designer, a very skilled designer, Malina Birger at the time, she's very famous today. And uh, so we thought, you know, let's, let's use our after names, let's try to make it um, yeah, look like a family business, but, but it also became very much a family business, both in reality family business, but also that the company worked very much like a family and not like a professional company, just for that. We do women's clothing because I started off that way. That was just a coincidence. Uh, what we did was women's wear. I never thought about men's wear until much later. We actually did men's wear you know, for for a period of time. Uh, but women's wear is so much easier for me to understand. Funny enough. The store is basically built up as an apartment or a house or whatever where you have a living room and you have a bedroom and you have a kitchen. And um, day is very much about bringing you know, elements, modern, uh, ethnic and original or classic if you want. If you bring them together you very much get a day outfit. And if we have to sell a day outfit in the right way to explain exactly what we mean, we make, I think it's like eight or ten pair of different shoes for each collection. But it's not meant to be like a big shoe collection. It's just meant to something, if you like the brand, you probably will like the shoe because it goes well with it. Let's drop the sand,